we're back with another episode of Let's Play Grandia 2. I'm your host, Nick Legato, and we're going balls deep. Straight into the heart of the beast. Or however you want to describe it, but we're going inside. Big one. It's time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And I'm all at a go. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of big talk for a god who's about to get his ass kicked. By me! Because we already removed a few of this god's heads already, so I don't know where he's getting off telling us that we're insolent or whatever. <laughs> no matter how you slice it, this dude's getting his ass kicked. Alright, so this is the point of no return. As you can see, once you go in, you cannot get out. You notice I didn't save. Just in case... We're under attack here with a new enemy. This is the grand closure here. This is for the closure. The final run against some killer trees here. You know, it works. Worked in the past, it's work it again. Though I think, uh, I'd have to say Tio's is probably stronger. Ooh, wow. Very resilient. Uh... Try zap and see if we get any better results. Probably won't. Now that I'm thinking about it, I forget what their weaknesses are, give or take. So we're, we're learning something new, per se. We hit them hard here. Yeah. There we go. Lightning. That's the key ingredient for giving killer trees. As well as Ryuto raging out on them. As you can see, he actually has a new sword equipped as well. So there you go. We still keep getting skill coins and magic coins. Yay, but we're going to hold on to all the skill coins that we get. We should not spend any of them. Hold on to all skill coins. At this point in the game, there's no reason to have to invest in other skill coins in all honesty. We head down below into the depths of whatever. But yeah, we're inside Valmar. That's kind of gross, isn't it? Go ahead. This is pretty linear to start with. And we're gonna use this to rise up. Rise up and smite the. As we are now on the other side. I don't think there's anything there. Why they made us do that is beyond me. It was kind of unnecessary. As you can see, there's all kinds of new enemies down. Or enemies, not necessarily new ones, but there are some all kinds of enemies around here. Go ahead and head below as we go deeper and deeper into the abyss of death. And I think these are all enemies we fought before. We'll find out real shortly, but they should be. Oh yeah, the Dragon Knights. So we'll see after the battle. All right, easy win. Let's fight these as well. Oh yeah, kill them in the name of. Let's kill some more. Okay, we did that. Now, let me check this room back out again. We came from over here, now that we're being unmolested. I don't think there's anything really in this room other than those enemies in this pathway here, so, eh, there it is. It's all kind of gross sounds as we have to walk through. It. But, oh, can't go in that way, so we'll have to go around the other way. There's three different paths here. One that leads there, obviously. Another one that leads to a multi-item chest. Loving ribbon. All kinds of neat stuff. Let's equip that ribbon. The Crap. It's nothing but crap. Got me all excited for a second. Like, oh, I'm gonna give me some stuff. Now we have two directions we can go. We may as well just explore the way we kind of came from, you know, since the all-around seed. And a giant tree monster. The rare drop from those tree monsters is actually quite enjoyable, I must say. An all-around seed is their rare drop, and if you have the pirate's ring, you might be getting a few of those, so good investment. Good investment. So let's see, let's go ahead, that's why I still keep it equipped. Let's head down this passageway here. Around this zigzag machine. We're in a now we're in a really neat little room here. And you gotta press these little suckers. 
in a certain order, I believe. Whoops. Okay. Nah. Really, at the end of the day, we're gonna end up pressing all of these, so. That's another one. Let's just open these all now and get it over with. Get that one. There we go. And it gets us the Dirk. I'm not sure if it's better than the Gladius. It's actually a knife. Ooh, wow. Well, actually, no, it's not. It's, a, it's still a sword type. Damn it. I see this one. I grabbed it. Which ones have we not opened yet? Ah, enemies! Sweet. Let's see. Nothing over here. And nothing over here. Open. Open. I know you're like the last one I haven't opened yet. And one of these should lead to a treasure, and the other one should lead us forward in the dungeon. That leads us forward. Well, it's too late now. We'll have to fight it anyway. So we'll fight this, and then we'll backtrack. The way we can get our well-wanted items. Go ahead and hit these little crap, crap sticks with some good old-fashioned killing. So this is like kind of like a mini-boss battle, whatever. They're like it's like an upgraded version of the Xeon spawn from earlier. I need a beer. Beer. As we give them the shocker. Killed off the little minion types. Dodge! Now we can just beat the crap out of Valmar Magna. Sky, take no, you need to use... I don't think there's a big need to use Sky Dragon Slash when we just use this. And just hit him with the strongest stuff that we have. Meteor Strike if we choose to. I'd probably hit with Ice Prison. Probably want to hit with Ice, Ice Prison first. So we can do some good damage with that. True Dragon Rise is actually even stronger. The ultimate secret! Oh yeah. So yeah, that's a pretty good deal right there. Let's see, you can use White Apocalypse. It's not like we use her stuff, her over... The other skill that we'll only use in a case of emergency, she only needs, I think, 80... SP to cast them, so it's not like she needs a huge amount. So until she needs that huge amount, there's no reason to worry about spending hard-earned skills on it, really. Sky, take flight. It's really just unloading on him. He probably won't live much longer. Because killing is my middle name. Killing is my business, ladies. And business is good. Voltage 570. Yeah, what she said. Mm -hmm. And that ends that. Yeah. He's not so Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Before we continue forward, though, we know we did. There, we know of one passage we didn't go down, so let's go check that out. Before we continue, it'd be a shame to continue and not to get all the goodies. It's like all the enemies. Nothing like killing with a sky dragon slash when you get surprised. So we get the potion of azure, which is actually a nice potion, which is why I grabbed it. Let's go ahead and keep moving forward now. Now we're in New Valmar too. Um, as we finally head deeper. Oh yeah, he's not happy about that. He drags us into space? <laughs> Question mark? Alright, well, regardless. Let's go ahead and fight. Okay. As we enter a big ass room with a save point, which we're not going to save with, we're just going to recover for now. Yay! All right, let's go ahead and that's north. We want to go this way first. 
So let's go ahead and go this way. It leads us to a shame-filled catacomb-like room. Room. As we go down, we're assaulted by those little fly-looking things. We saw them in the last boss battle, actually. They're not... Again, they're whatever. They're not insanely threatening. You can hit them with whatever you want. And usually you'll do a pretty good job at ending them ending their misery of existence, because, you know, I would think the existing would be miserable, personally. Hey! Stop that! So, just hit them with your strongest attacks, because you gotta go back to the save point. So my point is, why do we care how strong we go out when we take these guys on? Didn't kill them, but we're damn close. Nice. Let's see here. But as you can see, they're These no, challenge. no real challenge. Just what he said. Yeah, they were no real challenge in any way, shape, or form. And they give crap for coins, so it's kind of like you don't want to waste time fighting them unless you don't care. Oh, yeah. Right, we gotta fight one more. Alright, killed all of them now. Now we can actually head up here. You tree monster right in front of me. Oh yeah. Bitches didn't stand a chance. We finally reach the Holy Sword Armor. Probably the strongest armor I think available to us. Raises power of moves. Yeah, it's going on Ryudo, I think. J j just, just maybe. I, I don't know. It, it, it just should. Um, so let's keep moving. Yeah, that's gonna cause him to cause some pain. As we head up and around here. We move around and through. Yeah, do not equip that piece of armor on Rowan. I don't even think you can actually wear it, but in case you were getting the idea of giving it to him, you should just not have that idea for any circumstance. Under any circumstances, you should never give that to Rowan. So we now head into another one of these rooms. Go ahead and get that helmet first. There we go. Ooh, the God of War helm. Ooh. Reduces IP slowing. Yeah, we're gonna put that there. Put the reflect helm here. There we go. Because that's better than what Rowan already had. Give or take. Let's go ahead this way and let's go ahead and kill him. Oh yeah. Walking. So we are brought here again into another egg room. Well, I'm not sure if there's. Yeah, let's just go this way. We're already here. Bust a few heads. Let's see if there's anything on the other side of this room. Okay, actually, you know what? I think this moves us on for some reason. Let's just go back and just double check to make sure. Let's go through all these rooms, and if there's something beyond them, then we'll take care of it, but I don't know. Let's see. More enemies. There's actually a new enemy here. That's another bonus. The Mind Eater, as you can see, very unfriendly looking. I doubt this will even work, but better than sitting around doing nothing. Considering she doesn't have any fire attacks, this is a pretty good item here. Eh, kind of get crap. Let's go ahead and use Boom. Can we get any better luck with that? Titanic Blast! If, if worst comes to worst, you know what I'll use. Well, that's much better. And let's go ahead and put these guys out of their misery for, for good. So, fire is these their weakness. Guys no real challenge. And boom, it has fire in it, so the reason to use it. You know, even though he has not a lot of strong upgrades magically, there's some good stuff in them there, Hills. Let's go ahead and fight these guys, ones that are over here as well. Should be almost uh, there should be everything available. Sweet. Right, let's go ahead and head through here. This is the other passage we hadn't gone down. Got a battle. Okay. Another indigo potion. Surprisingly, there's nothing here. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever. I opened them all. Thinking I did. Okay, that's everything then. Let's go ahead and head through here. Seemed like everything to me. 
Now we're back on our the initial path here. I gotta just get down there. Uh, there we go. Yes, yeah, so we gotta get all the way over there. Alright, and then we'll fight you. Oh yeah. There's another fight for us yet again. Alright, let's keep going. Up and over, we get a Yomi's elixir. And another tunnel. Shame. Oh shame, I tell you. So we head back into this large room yet again, but the only way for us to go is what's in question here. Where does this have to go along the side of this? Ah, I see. Got it. Got it. And where does this go, I wonder? Or is this back the way I came? I don't know if we need to do that, necessarily. Let's go ahead and across here. Over here. There's no way, I don't think, for us to get back to the save point. Well, it looks like I missed the gold. Go ahead and grab the Yomi's Elixir. Let me see what pressing this does here. Ah, I see. This allows us to get over here and grab this gold. I think that is pretty much everything here. Let's go ahead and reuse the save point. It tastes like healing. And while we're before we keep moving here, since we've got some, we're not dressed for time, pressed for time. I'm totally dressed for time. Go ahead and finish off. There we go. Ah, oh, I missed one. That's okay. I don't usually use Quake too often anyway. Alright, where's that stairwell? There it is. And down we go into New Valmar 3. Not one, but two, but three? You don't say. Alright, and here we are, New Valmar 3. Let's cut that there. And we'll cut this. Now there's... Let's see. Yeah, you gotta watch out for these things. Little spines will hit you. Oh, hello! Not that I care so much. I usually just let them hit me most of the time. I try to dodge them a little bit, but... Who cares? It's not like it's insanely lethal. Um, do do do. Let's see. Oh, what the hell? Oh! Okay. Let's go ahead and keep moving here. As I know this is alerting fly creatures to where we are, but as you can see, I'm just walking by them. There's not really anything here in this tube specifically that we need. Let me go ahead and clear this room out for you guys. Let's start with you! Okay, that wasn't so bad. You know what, while we're at it, I have enough coins to finish off that egg, so let's go ahead and finish off the dragon egg here. Go max that sucker out. All right. Uh, 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 I think this is the right way. Oh, ow, 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 ow. The omnipotent seed. It's a nice, actually, nice seed. I think. Okay. Ow. ow. Probably heal ourselves after taking that little bit of beating there, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, one all healing spell will heal me entirely. Isn't that wonderful? Guys, no? Okay, blow it out your ass. Easiest way through here, because there's not really much here for us. I want to say is to go here. Go over here. We get a mystic potion. This should be our way out. So you can see this place isn't complicated really, so it shouldn't be too difficult to maneuver your way through it. Okay. You can see the rest of this room is pretty empty. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh man, I'm so mad in for a while. And we get a golden potion. Let's head through the artery. Let's see, we're gonna run through here. We have two paths we can go. Let's go right first. 
Because that leads us to here. The Mystic Potion, the Battle Manicure, and the Ogre Shoes. Let's go ahead and keep heading through and around here. And we reach a fun and loving save point. We'll go ahead and exploit. Let's go ahead and go into our equipment here. We got some new shoes. We got some new shoes. And let's see, the ogre shoes, eh. the elf king boots, eh. lion boots. Eh. We've got better stuff. The ogre boots are nice for not even Ryudo. Okay. So we'll stick with this. Thank you. Let's go ahead and save because at this point. You may as well, because you're practically at the point of no return, buddy. So if you're not saving now, you will re be... You're an idiot to come this far, for the most part. Unless you are that underleveled, and you made it this far, and it was nothing but a pain in the butt. Yeah. As we are thrown into another mini-boss battle. With two uglies. Two uglies we can easily, easily take down. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, I don't know. We can't reach, can we? So let's go ahead and open it up with Tornado. Rearrange them a little bit. We can't reach either of them with win. any of her zapping spells, so we may as well. So we'll either put them in a line or we'll spread them out. But really, it's it all insignificant by the time you're done. Because we're just killing and killing with rage. Yeah, he's still pretty okay, actually. Magna Boring. That's kind of a stupid name for skill, but sure. Go with the White Apocalypse. There we go. Now we're getting some movement. The Sky Dragon Slash. It's gonna hurt a little. Yeah, what she said. It should stun the one who's casting long enough for Rowan to get the Golden Hammer smashing. It should, anyway, but we'll see. Because look at how much SP we have going for Sky Dragon. It's barely costing anything anymore. It's on the verge of costing little to nothing. Let's go ahead and Golden Hammer that. No play for you. I'd rather get hit by a regular attack than by what they had in mind. See what they're planning to do. Magna Ripper, huh? So we're gonna have to consider that. So we can get them both, so let's go ahead and open up with that, and we'll obviously cancel out that one yet again. Blue. Because it's been working for us. No reason for us not to. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that, we even paralyzed one. And it's actually the one that we were kind of concerned about. True Dragon Rise. The ultimate secret. True Dragon Rise. Yeah, sure. But anyway, he's dead. As you can see, very dead. Only ten seconds. Sky, take flight. Yeah. Here goes flying ten seconds. Nice, and he's pretty much a thousand HP away from death, give or take. Yep. Let's go ahead and hit him hard. With the Mega Blow. Hey! Stop that! And this should end the battle for us. Because we're going out with a bang. Yep, and there it is. Gotta work even harder. Yeah. It wasn't so tough. Alright, now that we've screwed around with that, before you continue, if we get the option to, we should have that just looked terrible. Don't ask, don't ask. You know exactly what that looked like. Not in a bad one, I'm not I mean, I'm not against it at all, but it's you know, I mean, this is a Kids game. I mean, come on, come on, come on. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and power up one of our books here, the Book of Sages. 
let's add some good goodness here to... Bam, bam, bam. That's the best we can do, huh? I guess we can put... There we go. See, we're going to want to level a lot of these up for later. But, uh, for the most part, let's go ahead and change some of our skills around now. Um, special power, fighting spirit. That's all good. So, uh, I don't care about that so much anymore. Let's, um, actually, let's just leave it alone. Not much we can really do. We can get rid of the pirate's ring for the most part. Let's go ahead and put in... Where is it? The wizardry chant. And for you, you're fine. So this is probably the best we're going to get right now. Let's go ahead and save again. Because we're going balls deep, as I've said so many times before. This is the big one, guys. We're doing it live. Let's go ahead and make our way here into the bowels of the bowels. It's not an artery. We're in his poop shoot. <laughs> because here we are, the core of New Valbar. Whatever that means. As we make our way around. What is this? Come out with your hands up. Okay. And what's your point, Zara? It's not going to stop me from ripping you into little pieces. Yeah, blah, 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 yakety schmackety. Easily. I won't listen to you. Loser. Oh, God. Now he's trying to corrupt us all. Why don't you sh shut up your ass, Rowan? If you wish to be complete, you must obey. Oh my god. They're not this f pathetic. God, I hope not. Surrender your farts to me. I mean your hearts. Damn straight, yo. I'm surprised they didn't put voice acting here. They should have. But, oh well. Or maybe there is and it's just not working for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. All the good stuff. All the final quotes that need to be said. Yep. Good answer. Kind of weak, but we'll, 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 we'll let it slide, because we weren't really very story-driven, in my opinion, for a good point of Know that you know it's gonna sting a little when I kick your ass. Just, just a little. I, I make sure I make sure to be somewhat nice. Holy crap! What the hell is that? It's like a Buddha from hell. I'm not sure whether to be mortified or to to laugh, but. I'm sure he ain't going to be friendly, as we are thrown into a massive battle against Valmar. A couple of things you want to keep note, note of is these heads all have the ability to heal. You don't want him doing nuns of none of that, none of that, none of that, none of that. 
open up here with something that hits them all very nastily with the baboon. And this is supposed to hurt on this clown. Smash you to pieces! You can buff your party if you so choose. Um, it's not insanely necessary. Like many of the battles that we've gotten before, we've mostly done it just by beating the crap out of the guy before he gets too many turns to really put us down. We'll probably want to reserve a lot of Elena's turns specifically for healing. Never let any of your characters drop below about 1500 for any reason. I am merciful to the dead. That's probably, in a sense, a reason why, because he has some nasty attacks. So make sure you open up with your strongest attacks from Elena first, so she can focus on healing later. There's no shame in it. None whatsoever. See, we're just gonna rape him pretty much this way. As you can see, I'm just unloading on him. Sky Dragon Slash is your friend. I shall reveal the power of God. Crackling? The crackle? Yeah, I'm sure that's the power of a god, buddy. Sworn enemies, you shall be defeated. Take oh that. yeah. We can cast this about five times, mind you. Thanks to SP reduction and the sword, it's gotten a little cheaper and we have a large SP count. So just a heads up. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> zero, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty weak. For as big of a thing he was making out of that, that was pretty damn weak. So he can play with the dragon's ass. So no matter what we do, we'll pretty much always be able to hit him. So just unload AoE attacks on him. Your other option is to use her special skill to, to buff everybody. That's an option too. But for the most part, this battle is going to have lots and lots of magic thrown left and right. So you may as well just weaken him, I guess. It's defense. Because he's got a pretty good magic defense too. So... Uh, oh yeah, look at that. Dodge! Titanic Blast! Titanic Rectal Leakage. Yeah, this is what happens when I take a dump. It falls into the toilet water. It goes BOOM! <laughs> I know, that's a terrible joke. Well, he's already quarter dead. As you can see, this is the least of our worries. Um, Elena's up, and we have... We use White Apocalypse, it won't give us enough to drop of life, so we'll hold off on that for the time being. Remember the crackling. Enemies, you shall be like I said, Take that. you don't want to make yourself without your strongest healing ability. And as you can see, so I'm holding on to that strongest healing ability by investing in using crackling at this point. Bow down. All my um, ow! That's some concentrated rage coming out of somewhere. So you'll want to be careful of that attack specifically. We'll probably have to have Elena heal next turn. Oh, Imagine being in a line and getting hit by that. It would be pretty bad. So we lucked out, but only Rowan got hit with that. As we dropped the ice bomb upon him. The ice I don't know if we need to buff our characters. We're doing pretty good so far. Nice. Yeah, we're not going to be buffing. We're just going to be kicking his ass. I don't want to get hurt by burn flames, so let's go ahead and cancel that out. And we do. Even though he's going to hit us with three things in a row now, so... Eh. Uh -oh. No! He who defies the will of God must die. Very magic-based enemy. Not that I care, but still. Oh crap. What's he doing? Yeah, what you doing there, bud? Oh crap. Oh look, it's all the heads restored too. And they look pretty pissed. I think this is where we get raped pretty hard. Here they come. Oh no. This is why we saved Elena's ultimate healing. If we lose anybody or any buddies. We can, re we can still recover. Ooh, shit. 
Okay, well. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> shit. We'll probably give up Rowan's turn. Use, oh, I don't know. Okay, where is it? Uh, there we go. Not that we care about the AOE part of it, but there, at least her turn is up. Use that. Because that'll heal us, even though regular healing probably would be fine. I'm just trying to be on the safe side. Yeah, he's going to get another trifecta from hell here momentarily, though we did take out one of the heads, which is always a good thing. Besides, what's wrong with making it look epic, huh? Go ahead and use Tornado, which should kill maybe one or two more heads, hopefully. We'll see. But we're coming down to the wire here, and as you can see, because we upped our skills and all of our powers, we're doing a pretty good job kicking his ass. He's not standing a single chance against us at the rate this is going. But see, you have to remember, a lot of people that play Grandia don't do the bonus dungeon part with the guys who drop lots and lots of experience and coins. They, a lot of people skip battles for whatever reason, I don't know. But as you saw, I didn't really grind. I fought every enemy on my way to where I am now. Excluding the little dungeon area I was in before, but other than that, nothing fancy. Ow, ow. We hit two people, but that didn't so Here comes the hammer claw. The hammer! Ow. Now you're gonna get it, Bobby. Now you're gonna get it, man. Alright. So what's he doing here? Destruction light? Uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. Putting a stop to that. Actually, to guarantee it, let's just use Lotus Flower. Lotus flower. Mm. There we go. Here goes. Sword enemies, you shall be defeated. Take that. That should finish off the other two heads. As you can see, so good investment for skills. No, one head is still there. One head is still standing. Let's deal with that in a moment. Yeah, we didn't come in! Starving tongue? Uh, no, we'll stop that too, I think. What the hell? Uh. Try and take out that middle head. <laughs> Time to die, tentacle rate monster. Crap. He's using one of the Belmar attacks here, the starving town. He's gonna heal him. He's gonna hurt us and it's gonna heal him. Which I'm not too fond of. The question is what body parts or parts is it gonna heal? I think it actually heals them all. No, it just heals them all. Deal with that. All right, time for this head to die. Because I'm kind of sick and tired of dragging this battle out. Flying Tensei Kens. Oh yeah. Because at this point, that's what we're, after. we're dragging the battle out. We should all be able to get attacks in before he gets a turn. Let's go ahead and heal. Heal. Good luck, everyone. Nom, 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 nom. All right, let's see here. Dragon zap him. Baboom him. Or actually, we would probably meteor strike uh, the Valmar Four since it's using the Day of Judgment, which I am also not fond of. Smash you to pieces! Oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> That's how I like to look at it. See if we can try and cancel them out. If we get that opportunity to. He still has a lot of body health though. You notice we're going to be taking out the heads pretty soon here. But 
He still has a lot of health Voltage on his body. We haven't even gotten it out of the out of the question marks of, the, of how much HP he actually has. No worries though. We shouldn't worry. We've got lots of MP and skills open to us to pummel him down with a little more. It's just a matter of us getting there. There goes the head. Canceling? Because I don't want to get hit by that. And hopefully. Oh crap, he's just gonna do it again. I don't know, hammer club. Merciful to the dead. What an idiot. You're about to be dead, jackhole. How does that sound? We're now gonna unload the rape attack. True dragon rise. Let's go ahead and hit him with crackling. The ultimate secret. Oh, yeah, there we go. Flying Tensei Ken. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's the core. Which is about to die with the Ryudo combo attack from hell. Here goes Flying Tensei Ken. And that is the battle. He wasn't so tough, but he did. Look at that, though. He pretty much ran us mostly dry. We're still pretty strong. Kicking ass. Like I said, the secret, fight all enemies in your path without remorse or without holding back. Because usually you'll get to a save point by the time you need to recover. Unless you're underleveled, and this is why you should fight all the time when you have the option to. Stark raving mad, you pathetic. <laughs> that has to be the best thing ever said to an end boss. Because we can. Oh boy. What is this crap? Yeah, Melanie, what are you doing here? I got a bad feeling about it. Don't trust her. Don't do it. She's psychotic! Keep away! Yeah, well, there goes that. We're all dead. Or are we? Yeah, we are aware. Sorry, I just want to kill something. I'm in the mood for killing. Killing. Yeah, I understand. The question is, do I care? This is true. She hasn't tried to rape a tried to rape Ryudo at any point. There's a lot of truth to this. Do you? Well, enlighten us. And we are thrown into another battle. Dun dun dun. And look at that, we don't get any recovery time either. She's gonna hit us with a combo. Fine, go ahead, we'll hit you with. Kerblamo! So, for the most part, Voltage if you need to recover, you better use some good items. SP base maybe for Ryuto, but we'll be able to take her down quickly. She's not the most threatening enemy we have to, have to fight. I mean, she does have dragons out. She has all the things, spells associated with the Chaos Egg, so you might want to be weary of that. But other than that, we'll just cut her down. Oh, yeah. Cancel her. Say can slash. <laughs> it's funny how that works out, ain't it? And actually, we might even have to cancel her out again. Yep, she's using burn flame, and I don't want to be burned. Here goes my. It's pretty easy. Bomb. Like I said, battles are pretty easy when it's one of them by themselves, for the most part. Cancel her. Though she is gonna get a turn, and she could dragon zap us. 
but Rowan and him are very close, so just hit her with Gag Zap. Blue Dragon Rise. Ultimate secret. Dragon Rise. Oh yeah. And let's go with another Dragon Zap. Voltage five hundred seventy. Yeah, what she said. Oh, yeah. Look at that, we even paralyzed her. Isn't that funny? That's just funny. I don't care who you are, that's hilarious. And we, we should be coming up on some of our clothes. We should be coming up close to the same clothes. Thunderbolt! Strike! Oh yeah. The shocker! Now that she's paralyzed, this battle is pretty much done. Cold. To Glacier! And the battle is won! The battle is won! The battle is won! The battle is won! Giggity goo 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 giggity goo! She wasn't so sad. As we defeat the wings of Bamba! I pray that we shall be safe ahead! I pray that you will find a new catchphrase! We get 6,000 skill coins and the Black Angel Bow. That'll have use later, but we get no experience. Dang. That's okay. Yes. That was just an illusion. Elena. Then where is Millennia? I am afraid no more. My mind is no longer troubled. I can believe. Millennia and I are one. She makes me who I am. Awaken, Millennia! Don't step in the bullshit. But there she is. Millennia! <gasps> Miss Millennia! Millennia! My babes have returned! Giggity 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 giggity. Couldn't this idiot woman notice sooner? Anyone mm. could see through that parlor trick. It's okay now. <laughs> okay. We're together now, right? I guess so. Maybe the first time they're not each each other's throats. Hey, kid, how you been? Bye, Miss Millennia. And you've made it this far, Miss Marionette. Yes. I believe in the human heart, just as you do. This cannot be. How can you still live? The will of God is absolute. The will of man could never overpower a god. Shut up, Zara. The only thing here that's absolute is your total lunacy. I am right here in all my glory. Bolster your soul and you will not fail. Yes, it is exactly as you taught us. Got it, Valmar? No, Zara. Why did the day of darkness come to pass? Why did Gratis die? Was it not because of darkness in the soul of man? Not everybody's if a is dead and Bama is destroyed, there would be nothing to lead man. Is that what you really want? If there is no need for gods, then there is also no need for man as well. Without man, there is no need for the world. I've actually heard a guy in a church, a priest, tell me that word for word almost. Isn't that disturbing? What's going on? Holy crap. This is not good. For them. Well, actually, Rowan, those two can take care of themselves. We're actually. fine. You go after Zara. Come on, you know they could take Ryudo, them out together. That Zara pretty wants easily. to destroy the entire planet. We gotta stop that loon. I believe in you. Take care of Zara. Sure, leave it to us. Just hang in there. Time for us to kill a sociopath. Well, just to be on the safe side, let's go ahead and heal up. Because I have a whole bunch of them. Let's go ahead and use... Oh, 
that. Okay. Oh, and even though I'll probably regret doing it later. Before we continue on, though, we also have her back. So let's equip her appropriately with the best gear available to her. As you can see, even Towin's Rowan stuff, Towin, Rowan stuff is available to her. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's put the Mystic Veil. So now we have two characters completely immune to everything. <laughs> and for you, let's put on the Dragon Egg. And for you, we'll put on Chaos Egg. Set up pretty well here. We can pretty much take off the soul of Ashura and put on something that will protect from status effects. Um, anything that we have that's actually good. Your best bet is probably the Ring of Guarding, because you don't want to get hit by sleep, petrify, or confuse. So we'll go with that. You know, there's not much, like I said, there's not much need for the soul of Ashura anymore. Let's go ahead and head in, shall we? And there's a good old-fashioned save point. We'll recover. So I guess I didn't need to use those items, so sue me. Oh yeah, before we go here, let's go ahead and equip some skills. Because we have skills for everyone around here. I don't think there's a reason for skilled item use, but we'll leave it on there for now. Magic power. Intelligence. Um, before we do much of that, let's power up. Book of Sages. Oh, I don't have enough there. Oh well. We will later, but let's go ahead and we've got skill points. Let's use them. And almost maxing all of that out, so that's a good thing. Let's go ahead and up some of her stuff. The best we can do. Let's go ahead and up. Where are they? Come on. Storm cloud, woodland. There's the life up. Intelligence. Uh. Zap fire. Boom flame. Got intelligence already. Um. Storm cloud is probably the best for that. So there we go. Check it one more time. And that's about what we're looking at party-wise. Look at that immunity. Woo, baby! I love it. I love the immunity. I love it. I love it so much. The warp shoes can probably go. We can probably put something on a little better than the warp shoes at this point. Let's go ahead and put on the lion boots. And that should be where we are at. So anyway, we'll save it on the next episode of Let's Play Grandia. The final confrontation. The final battle to come. We'll see you then.